Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. In this video, I want to walk through a 101 explanation of right message recipes. So if you're over on the rightmessage.com website, you'll see examples at the top. And once you click on that, it's going to take you to this page. And you'll see that there are a total of currently 13 different examples or recipes that are shown for you. And once you click on any one of the different ones that are displayed there, so like a simple way to start or basic blogger funnel or content upgrade or whatever, it's going to then take you to a more in-depth screen. And what we'll do is, well, first off, let's answer this question. What are right message recipes? Well, they're example funnels, CTA funnels, that showcase what's possible when you're using the right message CTA funnels to organize your marketing. And what they're not is they're not able to be imported into your right message account as a CTA funnel starter template. Just to be very clear, they're there for you to use as inspiration when you're planning them as far as your different CTA funnels. However, they're not something like a one click you know, template that you can pull in and just start modifying. So just I just want to be clear about that. Now, there are currently 13 recipes, and we'll run through them real quick. You'll see, once I click on a simple way to start, this is the page that it takes me to, and it allows me to actually try it out for myself, right? So in the right hand, well, in the left hand side, you'll see the actual CTA funnel flow, and then on the right hand side, it's going to allow me to actually interact and see for myself. So in this instance, it doesn't start with the question, it starts with a yes or no decision that the app makes for you. Is this person already a subscriber with you, with your email service provider? So are they on your list and you have to click yes or no? And once you do, if you click yes, it'll exit without pitching anything. Whereas if you click no, it'll show you the pitch as far as to join the newsletter. Now, the second one is a basic blogger funnel, and you'll see here, it's gonna show the questions and then ask, are you a subscriber? So, and if you are, it's gonna do some different stuff from that as far as, okay, have they already bought the course? You can see already. And then based on that, it's gonna do different things from there. So as you can see on the right, it doesn't ask you to say yes or no, you're already a subscriber because it's gonna just start with the first question here. So you, you answer it, it'll then go to the second one and then it'll say, hey, are you a subscriber or not? And then based on the answers, it's gonna you know, take you down different pathways. I've found that it's better to do these more complex ones later. Get started with the simple. I always start with your first two segmentation questions of who the person is that's on your website, followed by what they want from the website, and then you have two offers. Offer number one is a free email list or a content upgrade to get onto the free email list, and then offer number two is whatever the next step is for your unique business. Now, content upgrades it's a little bit more in depth here as far as are they on this act, this specific page and then based on that, okay, are they a subscriber or not? And if they're not, it's going to it's going to pitch that content upgrade. Whereas if they are already a subscriber, it's going to go ahead and pitch them on the next step, right? So you have and then obviously if they're not on that page, then it's, it has an offer of, you know, pitching the newsletter. So a little bit more in depth there. Um, the e-commerce playbook, it starts with asking if they're a subscriber, follows that up if they are a subscriber with, you know, are they tagged already as a customer? And then if they are, then it does some other stuff or asks you know, internal questions, yes, no questions or whatever, in order to um, you know, determine what it does next. It's a little bit more in depth, but as you can see, like if they are a subscriber and they're not tagged as a customer, then it allows you to give them an option, an offer for a 10% off coupon or you know whatever percentage off you wanted to do, right? But if you're e-commerce, it may be a good one to look into to begin with. It, assuming obviously that your e-commerce solution is connected to your email service provider so that you know if they're customers or not. Because if you don't have a way where they're already tagged in your email service provider as a customer, then you, even though you are an e-commerce, 
you know, etc. this playbook wouldn't work for you because you wouldn't be able to do that. You need to have that set up already. So the NPS customer survey, this is an interesting one as well. It's going to ask a question. Have they been tagged a customer and is the field for NPS score in the email service provider, is it currently blank? If it is, then it it asks them the NPS question, which is, would you recommend this business to your to your friends, to your peers, etc., right? And then based on their answer, it's going to split them and say, okay, if it's a really good one, it's going to, hey, let's offer them the affiliate program. And if it's a middling one, it's going to ask them an NPS survey as far as, you know, what they can do better. Whereas if it's a bad one, then the idea is to get them in touch with the CEO in this instance. And the idea behind showing this is that you can find out about them and then once again you're doing exactly what they need it's the the goal being to deliver the right message to the right person at the right time project request slash lead qualification asking the question to begin with and then if it's lead desired outcome is seo or redesigning our website then what is your website currently built on and what kind of budget? What are you, when are you looking to start? And it's qualifying them as a lead, right? And then it's going to pipe that information automatically back over into your email service provider. Now the email course thank you page, it starts with just one thing question, which you can see on the right, and then it'll follow up by learning a little bit more about them. You know, what kind of business do you run? What email marketing software do you use? And then yes would be every other answer except for nothing yet. And then no would be nothing yet. You can see there it's learning about them. And then it's as it goes along, it's addressing them individually is the idea. And here's a SaaS playbook. And once again, you know, is it a subscriber? And then are they a customer? And then if they're no, are they tagged as churned? And then it's going to give them, depending on the answer, it's going to be able to make different offers and make those offers as contextual as possible for each of them. This is the case study that they did on the website under articles. When you go to uh, writemessage.com, you'll be able to see the conservation careers. And, you know, it kind of, they, there's a lot of information in that. And then card abandonment for course creators. Once again, um, double your freelancing rate is Brennan Dunn. He's one of the founders of Right Message. So he's obviously been selling courses for a long, long time. And so he's learned a lot about that and taking those lessons learned and he's sharing them here with you. So the Mastering Convert Kit, oh, this is another one of his courses, and he's just sharing the page funnel, the sales page funnel with you to see, okay, and you can see the very first question is, are they already tagged with, you know, having purchased this when they're on the sales page or whatever? And then if no, well then, is preview requested? And if it's yes, then it's going to do one thing, and if it's no, then it's going to do another as far as ask that quick question first, etc. Lead generation for law firms, you know, I really, this was something that I never really thought of that I learned from looking at this one, which is when are you looking for help? And then saying, okay, right now in a few months, and I'm just here to learn, right? And it seems kind of common sense, but it was something that I never really thought of. And then my golf spies monthly giveaways, and you can see it's starting with the question of subscriber. And if they are not already a subscriber, then it's going to run through those three questions before going to the offer of the giveaway. So, and then here's the migration request flow. You can see that you'll be able to go through it, obviously, and request migration, um, but you'll be able to also kind of come back and disassemble it, so to speak. I've found that that's really helpful. Anytime that I interact with a certain CTA funnel on my own as a customer or whatever, and then I can come back and kind of recreate it or see a representation of it recreated, it really kind of helps me understand why they did certain things. And, and it just informs in the future when I'm putting together my own CTA phones. So the pro tip is to use these to recognize what's possible. But once again, begin with a funnel covering your first two segmentation questions and your first two right message offers. You can get into all the complexity later, but get started and start improving your conversion rates as soon as possible. So if you have any questions or need anything, hit me up, jason at jasonhobbsllc.com. And uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great one.